What is this? A wall. A huge grey. What had been a clear arm sky is now blocked off by a dull grey. It's dark, almost like the sun has already gone down. A dome, rather. We appear to be shut in from above as well. What? Well, when did they do this and how? I don't think any of us was in full command of his his facility as, as we came this way. We can't be certain that it wasn't already there. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we were all in the gymnasium, listening to the headmaster, though. He did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield? Shield? A disaster so disruptive there's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous grey blanket and wait. Uh, maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic? If that were the case, they would... They would be robbing us of our rights to know why our very lives are in danger. Is this really a shelter? Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Yui and all this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Inageki about the dome thing. Very well. I like how Sequoia is constantly questioning everything. Yeah. Looks like the other classes left theirs as they were as well. They're at the teacher's desk. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy through too much peace. I doubt anyone else had dared taken it upon themselves to investigate this matter. <laughs> you go, Sakuya. We're here. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... I can't, Sequoia, I'm sorry. Could you? <laughs> no matter. What is this madness? Huh? There's... Nothing here. Huh? That, that can't be right. We left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym. This is life, not some third-rate mystery novel. Exactly, Sequoia. Yuya! Salutations, Ryota. I see you're babysitting, Sequoia. Do not throw my name about like some cheap toy mongrel! Yeah. How cruel. Well, I can't blame you for being tense, given the circumstances. I think he'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. I'm sorry about her. It pains me to think what happened. His expression clouds. It's strange, I've never seen him with any expression other than carefree cheerfulness before. You'd known her for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about... All of this, Yuya? Well, most of this business is still mystery to me, but I can at least answer the question we face right now. Which question? The whereabouts of the corpse, you mean? Yeah, that. As you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear. Um, we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. Anyway, the other infirmary assistants and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. Wait, there are other infirmary assistants? Uh, must be, because all other birds are just invisible people. Good point, there must be ghost ones. The chemistry lab? What, what for? For one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school only for the mental health of the students. Secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, we have two things going on at once here. The only human school is cut up and distributed to the rest of the school. And now there's some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, this 
is all a mystery to me, too. I suspect yeah, right. that we will have an easier time investigating the murder as long as we are sealed in like this, though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. The doctor? Why him? You don't trust him? Of course not! I, I don't want to think about what he might be doing to her. He might even have... Hmm, you suspect the doctor? Y yes! Everybody knows he's a nutcase. He'll probably kill her for some crazy experiment. He's an expert in his field. Who else here could perform the autopsy? But... I know where you're coming from, Ryota. He's not exactly the most ethical-minded bird around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come too. He should be there by now. If you want to go, make sure. Alright, we'll go later. So Yui has been gathered in the chemistry lab and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's better than no one, right? He's probably asleep. <laughs> We know where the corpse went then, but why are you here? Me? I'm investigating, under my own orders, of course. Plain detective mongrel. That and I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and the evacuation are almost certainly connected. I'm inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to the explain our situation makes me doubt his story in it entirely. Indeed. So, Ryota. Yeah. I know how you feel. You want to find the one who did this to you as soon as possible, right? Yes. It was evil, Dr. Ballerina. Kid Kardashian. And here's a black screen. Yui. Oh. Gone for a moment, and suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them, and I'll... I'm going to find the culprit, and I'll... I'll... I've never felt this emotion before, but now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird, I'll... <clears throat> My thoughts, exactly. Unfortunately, the school is a mess. We won't find anything by chasing after her shadow. I think we should try to solve both mysteries at once, whenever possible. Of course, the wall could just be there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. Bye. <laughs> we didn't need your advice from the start. You're nothing but talk anyway, mongrel. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. Oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to one in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You mean that antisocial oh. cockatiel dandy everybody hates? Yep, him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you and you might find something useful in there. Well, that's it for the... Talky mongrel. Adieu! He sautés off towards the staircase. What a dreadfully obnoxious man! I thought he'd never shut up! He gave us some good advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. Indeed. Hm. Where should we head next? I don't... We could go and miss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or by investigating the wall outside. Right. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will be able to help us. Hmm? Pardon? Hmm? I thought you said something. No, I'm just saying where we're gonna go. The maintenance hmm. office, in other words, the repairman's shop. I doubt we'll find anything useful there. You just said to go, right? I doubt the, the, in <laughs> the integrity of his advice. 
Jeez, is that anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. My family? Oh, shit, the screen. Do you mock me? That filthy, blooded mongrel is no relation to me. Whoa, calm down. I do, you think, <laughs> do you think Yuya lives with Sakuya? No. I guess he's... And then this is still running, running, uh, running business as usual. We don't have time to waste. We should hurry. The maiden's room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? Hello? I heard knocking. Oh, right. They're here. Excuse us. What an interesting poster. Oh, God. It's a bird with a flying saucer. Oh, the birds are aliens. <laughs> what is this? This doesn't look very educational. It's a maintenance office blooming thing, isn't it? The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. Hello there. A dove and one more. Mr. One, hello. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I'm Ryota and this is Sequoia. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. Whoa. Somehow he seems really cool. You mean you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your, your class there. No, we're not... Do you mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? Um, you said we should ask you for help. You, yes, Kazaki. Yes, Oops. him. We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? Sakoya, where the heck are your manners? He's rude. He's a very rude bird. Um, sorry, he transferred from overseas, and his Japanese isn't too great. He certainly has more bark than I imagine he has bite. Very well, come in. We're meeting lots of new birds. Yes, and we're also getting to see the much more, I don't know, pretty side of blooming thing. Isn't that bird, um, you know one of the fortunes? Yes, he does look like that one, doesn't he? Yeah. What did you say you gentlemen were investigating? Two things. The murder of Yui Bakuchan and the mysterious wall outside. You've been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you know only what you have heard from that mongrel. Useless! I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what the big grey wall outside is then. Nope. Oh, Useless no. wretch! No. Sequoia, calm down. Though I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Oh wait. Mr. One. Could we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. Sadly not. Everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wiser. This is too thorough. Oh, wow, well, is it that fucking convenient? Then how the hell was the TV working? If the power was cut off, how did they get the announcement on the TV screen? Exactly. What the hell? I can't think of any reason why they need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. This has been a wild goose chase and a complete waste of time. Let us go, Quora. Wait, I have a uh, bright and massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive? What? If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in the school, but never there. You might be able to find something out about the wall if you check in there. Of course, the headmaster did not speak to us in person in the gym. If he was broadcasting from his office, then he might still be there. 